So now what we're going to do is actually we're going to show you how to release the quadriceps. Mickey, I'm going to get you to bring your leg down to the side here. Okay with me working around here today? Oh yeah. Good. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways you could do this. You could use your palm of your hand, your thumb, you could use different areas, but I find it quite easy to actually get on there and use the forearm and not go too deep here. Okay, grab that, take it in. Excellent. And back. So I'll just get you to bring the camera around the other side here. This way you can see us move the foot in. Doing okay? Yes. All right. So right now, if I'm going down the center, I'm going more towards the rectus femoris. The origin of the rectus femoris is the anterior surface of the iliac spine. So we're talking all the way up here. Take it again. And the acetabular rim. Now, the insertion is on the uh, patella, basically the patella tibial tuberosity. So bringing it right down. So if we want to work on the knee, these structures are incredibly important, and not just to work on one. We would also consider the hamstrings, which is on another video. Doing okay there? Yep. Yeah. And back. So, and back. Now, take it here, bring this in internal rotation, and let me just move it around a little bit as we come in here. <laughs> So, you okay? Oh, that's good. So yeah. this is the way in terms of internal rotation, but then a little bit of circumduction as we come around there. Yeah, Big like, change. Huge. Okay, the other, and I'm actually pushing less than I was previously, and you're feeling it a lot more, and you can feel different more. layers of fiber, because we, underneath this, we get the vastus intermedius underneath this muscle, one of the four quadriceps, and I can actually tell whether or not it's gliding this way. Mm -hmm. Back. Okay, good. Now, let's move on to the vastus lateralis. So, on the other side here, just take it back. Doing okay there? Oh yeah. So this is pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay. Origin being the greater trochanter, the intertrochantic line, and the linea aspera of the femur. You okay? Yeah. Right, yeah, it does feel a bit tighter. Yeah. Again, insertion is on the uh, patella, Tibial tuberosity, B to the quadriceps tendon. Good. All right. And basically, in terms of the action, is going to be uh, extending the knee. Doing okay there? Yeah. Good. And also, this will be the action also for the medialis and the intermedius. Good. And again. Okay. Now, we're here, bring it in just a little bit. Okay, just take it in very gently. A little bit of circumduction. Take it back, mm. now bring it up. I'm gonna change my position now. Bring it back, oh yeah, a little bit of circumduction there. Big difference. Huge. Okay, and down. And again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just go back over here just a little bit in the center. Bring it part way, not very far. Okay. Take it down there. Okay. Oh. Now, if I was to bring this all the way back here, I'd be on the rectus femoris. Yeah. It'd pop me right up to the surface. Yeah. If I'm on the intermediate and I only bring it part way, mm -hmm. And then I start getting a little bit in there. I'm getting in a lot deeper. You can feel... And you can feel that yeah. intermedius, can't you? Yeah. Okay. So if we're on the intermedius, then the origin is the anterior and lateral surface of the body of the femur. Insertion, again, is down in the patella. I almost got myself confused with my own verbiage there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now. We're going to move on to the medialis, so I'll get you to lie on your side towards the face. Okay, I'm just going to cross here. Now, I'd also be getting on a bit of the adductors here because we're, we have so many different fascial connections between the adductors and the medial quadricept. That we're, now we're just going to straighten this out of it here. Doing okay there? Yeah. Okay. Down, 
So the origin is the intertrochanteric line and linea aspera of the femur. Doing okay? Yep. Okay, down. Insertion is all again on the patella, tibia tuberosity, via the quadriceps tendon. We start getting closer to the knee here, we're actually getting on the VMO. Okay, now, real subtle here. Okay, same thing, circumduction. So, when I'm doing these techniques, there's a real critical point here. Um, I need you to back off on your compression. I need you to actually, so we've got a certain amount of compression when you straighten this out here. Okay, if you're gonna do circumduction, you've gotta back off a little bit here, otherwise it's just way too deep. Doing okay? Oh yeah. Okay, good. What I, I wanna know, Mickey, what you feel when I'm coming across here like this. Like internally, tell me, can you feel like different layers of actually gliding? Yeah, it almost feels like when it was just kind of going back and forth. So this? It's more superficial. But then right. when you start through the circumduction, you can feel it's almost like it's sinking into the layers that are deeper going closer not it's not on the bone it's not hurting the bone no but you can just feel it's just approaching a depth right that is close to the bone now we start getting down around the vmo here and i just kind of like back off a little bit but take yeah. it back it, off it's not painful at all it, it feels amazing but it's such a deep treatment <laughs> yeah it's it's really deep and the only way it's going to be re go that deep if, is if i relax my hand not get too deep in there move it with circumduction at the same time i think it also doesn't give me an opportunity to try to flex and pop you off because i know sometimes when if something's painful you tend to flex it yes just to make it stop absolutely <laughs> so it doesn't really give you that opportunity <laughs> these are incredibly powerful moves and some of the key takeaways here are that when you're going through this, you have to have your hand loose and you have to really work with the tissue in terms of feeling the gliding of that tissue one layer over another. As soon as you get the circumduction in there, you're gonna to start to feel all sorts of fascial connections starting to let go and you'll feel the connections between different layers of different structures. This is very powerful work, but only if you actually put yourself into your hands you feel what you're doing and you feel the release. Give it a try.